Hey guys, I uh, just got time for a real super quick tip. Uh, say you're working on a Ford product and the ABS light comes on. Uh, say you get a code for, you know, right front wheel speed sensor or whichever. A front wheel speed sensor. Don't automatically go to change the speed sensor. Now, normally when a speed sensor goes, you kind of see it when you're coming down to a stop. You, you graph your speed sensors and you look for noise, hash, dropouts, all that sort of stuff as you're coming down to a stop. Once it starts spinning really quick, you usually don't see any noise, any dropouts, but you come down to a stop and you see the noise. Hey, it's a typical telltale of a failing sensor. But on these Fords, you'll notice the ring is on the axle. So what can happen on these, and it happens all the time, is they'll develop a bit of rust underneath the ring. The, the axle itself will rust. And if we come over here, it will split these rings. Now, let me just go over to a bit of light. Move all this sort of stuff out of the way. And if we look right here, right there, there'll be a little split there, a single break. And sometimes this is hard to see on the axle. So what'll happen is this can come and go. At times it can be kind of bonded to the axle. Uh, at other times it can stay stationary. At other times it can float at a different rotational speed than the axle itself. So these can be kind of tricky. But if you have a Ford product, um, you know, Escape, Explorer, all that sort of stuff, mid 2000s, late 2000s, early 2000s, and if you see the rings are on the axle and not part of the hub bearing assembly, then give them a look all around. You know, you can grab them, see if you can spin them, but usually, if you look carefully, usually you'll see the split. Usually what you'll see is, if you look really carefully, you'll see one spot between the tones that just looks a little wider apart. Now, you can get these rings separately, but I've never had luck uh, installing them. Um, you know what, I just don't like doing it. These, if we go to the end of an axle, right, because they'll sit right on here, it's usually so rusty that uh, either you can damage them going on, or they're just not gonna last. So it's always been my, I know it's more expensive, but it's always been my rule of thumb. If these get cracked, they get split, um, and you care about ABS, if, if, if you want the ABS fixed, uh, the better way to do it is to replace the whole axle. That way you get a fresh axle too. Anyways, but I just wanted to pass that on. Don't go ahead throwing wheel speed sensors at these. Um, make sure you check them really good for splits. So when I was going through this video doing the editing, uh, I went to look up kind of to get an idea of what application had that style of ABS ring on the axle for the Fords. And weirdly enough, it only really seemed to be coming back as escapes and, you know, the Mazda tributes, um, et cetera, et cetera. I'm pretty sure I did one on an Explorer. But uh, all the different years make models of Explorers that I looked up kind of just showed... Um, you know the the sensor built into the the hub and then the the wheel is a part of the actual wheel bearing um but either way um definitely the escapes and then of course today um, i did two axles in the day one was an acura that also had the tone wheel um attached to the axle and this one here is a toyota sienna um it's a little gross um, Toyota Sienna that also has that. Now, um, I had a, a, I had an 01 Santa Fe that also had that as well. So there's lots of other vehicles that have it on the axle, but coincidentally enough, um, I don't know what it is or how it's designed or why it's that way. I've only ever seen it on Fords where this separates or cracks or really causes problems. I've seen some others just get completely cased in dirt um, or, you know, if you have a, you, your brakes go metal to metal, they just get covered in um, 
uh, metal particles, stuff like that. You know, I've seen wheel bearings get right knackered and then the, the sensor hits that, um, might damage this as well. But I've never seen this split and float on any other vehicles other than Ford's. I swear I did one on an Explorer. Um, I can't remember what year, but definitely done lots on escapes. So if you have one and you got your ABS light on, um, you know, this vehicle here, um, you know, this vehicle here ended up being the, the connector, um, the wire broke. Unfortunately, this is on the harness, the vehicle harness side, it's up there. I don't know if you guys can see that. Um, and not on the actual sensor side. I can't get this harness, so I'm gonna have to hardwire that in. Um, but the point of this video that I wanted to make is it's not always a matter of just replacing a sensor or, you know, if it's an integrated hub bearing assembly, it's not always just a matter of that, right? Um, now, more often than not, it is, but in the case of the Fords, you're, if you have uh, the ring on the axle, check that, and once in a while, you'll find a harness issue, um, like this one up here. But more often than not, if you have a single um, wheel uh, vehicle speed sensor issue, it is almost always the sensor itself. But anyways, I just wanted to pass that on. I kind of wanted to add this extra stuff because uh, I thought it was neat. Um, just coincidentally happened to come across all this the day that I was going to upload um, the first part of this video. And, you know, why not? It was pretty short. So uh, hopefully some of this is useful to you. Um, let me know what your guys' experiences were. You know, have you seen any of these split on any other vehicles other than Fords? I'd be really interested to find out about that. Um, and yeah, um, just want to say thanks for watching. We'll catch you in the next one. Bye for now.